on there, buddy. It is the first weekend in March. And Skyler. It's the first weekend of March. It means baseball season starting. So it's a little after six. Going down here to let the chickens out. We gotta load the car up and then we gotta drive an hour and 20 minutes uh, for the first day of Reed's tournament. We're driving on the other side of Dallas from where we're at. So, got one chicken out. Morning, ladies. We're moving slow this morning. There's another one. Make sure they got feed. Which they do. I know they got water over there. Now I gotta let the silkies out. I can hear the rooster over there. He's ready to be out. So yep, we had their. First, what's crazy with the weather and stuff? They had their had some scheduling conflicts. They had their first actual field practice last night of the season. Uh, they've been practicing in their indoor facility up until then, and uh, they looked really good. So much, much more promising than than last year. Um, we've made a few changes on the team and uh, looked really good. So really excited for them. So. I'm gonna let the silkies out. I gotta take my hat off when I go underneath the underneath the deal here. Cool your jets, man. I'm gonna let you out. This mama silky is in there sitting on a ton of eggs. Talking about, <clears throat> excuse me, pulling out all those eggs and candle them, candling them for that mama, and seeing what uh, you know, what's alive and what's not, and letting her sit on them. But we're still not really set up that good for um, chicks. So I think I don't know what we're gonna do. But she has a very, very strong motherly instinct. So if we take all those eggs from her and regroup, um, she'll still go broody again soon. She's the best hen we've ever had as far as broody, broodiness, is that a word? All right, y'all, before we uh, load up the car, I wanted to show y'all something real quick, two things. One, we all, we've all we been taking this uh, even back in the fall. This is our Rock Pals little battery generator that we got. Rock Pals sent that to us along with a, um, giant solar panel that goes with it so that will be at the game i'm sure last in the fall remember there was tons of parents would would gather around between games and parents would plug into it and and use it so i charged that uh, go check out rock pals uh, they make tons of stuff like this um, and this thing has come in really handy we've used it during outages um power outages to power little lamps and, and charge our phones and do stuff really cool but this is something i'm going to show you that i cannot believe it's taken us this long to figure out. Cannot believe we didn't do this sooner. It's a game changer. Um, yeah, so this <clears throat> is a bag. It had some of Reed's old catcher's gear in it. And we made up a baseball kit. All the things over the years that we've forgotten. Yes. It has mm -hmm. every kind of medicine you could think of. It has tape to wrap their to wrap up kids stuff with baggies ice pack. prize packs zip ties to zip tie sunshades i'm gonna take this i'm gonna put this on because coach said if i ever if he ever needs tape he's coming to me well that's not there's tape in there too can i have the tape 
So I guess we gotta get more tape and vet wrap for He's unpacking the. Well, read them faster then. <laughs> there, there's the tape. So we got hoodies for Easton Reed, me, mom, blankets. What else, babe? Uh, the break it, ice packs that break. A yeah. first aid kit. Yeah, these are the ice packs. Those were, I can't believe how cheap they were. Yeah. I mean, if you've never played, it's been a while since you played sports, you've never played sports with the kids. Somebody's always jamming a finger or smashing a finger or, or something. And, and what ends up happening is parents are digging their hands in their coolers, yeah. ice chest to get ice out. Of them, so, no. so those ice packs are good. And then we had the baggies for the, if we want to get ice out of the cooler and go there as well. So, but that's a game changer. For sure. No, for sure. And yeah. we'll probably today go, oh, we need to add yeah. this to it. So we're going to, I vowed this year we're going to be prepared. Because <laughs> in March, it can be. 20 degrees or it can be 80. 80. So I even thought one thing we need to put in there is hand warmers. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we got stuck in Waco one time in a tournament and it, oh we froze. Well, like, it, because it, the temperature changed. Yeah, the it was 80 changed. degrees and we were in shorts and an hour or two later yeah. a cold front blew through and it was in the 40s. And then we were freezing and nobody was prepared and everybody, there was a big tournament in town and everybody bought the dollar store out. There was no nothing. So, all right. Umbrella. Umbrellas. I got my phone, I'm probably gonna make a list. Yeah. All right, let's load up. There I was thinking because it rained at that tournament too, yeah. and we had to go and buy it. Yeah. All right, we're gonna load up. fishing pole there's always a pond outside of the, the uh what do we <laughs> no and you said i'll leave you're right i'll leave <laughs> y'all we had a water leak right here and this area is kind of in disarray but apparently I'm sure there's a little mouse or something underneath there. Get it, Skyler. Skyler. Let's go inside. We gotta go. Go inside. Come on. Come on. Y'all, if, <clears throat> if we left her here out while we were gone, I have no doubt she would dig her way completely underneath that pile of, uh, underneath the fence and into that pile of wood right there. Um, there's probably a little mouse or something right there and she smells it and she is gets hyper focused on it So we let her out right there and let's go put her up. Come on. Come on, Come on. Her, She has mud all over her feet from digging up there Go ahead, buddy I thought we'd stop off and have some decent breakfast with you. There you go. <laughs> you have to organize soap. <laughs> Can you see the soap over there? I'm videoing. This Amazing breakfast. Reed's a happy man right now. <laughs> if you're for, uh, ever in Crumb, Texas, go check out Taco Tootie's. Taco Tootie's. It's so yummy. I'm looking it's, at the maps. It's a uh, in a rundown gas station beer store. It's been there forever. It's been there, yeah, probably. I mean, long, long time. But it's some of the best tacos you will ever eat in your life. Breakfast tacos. So, all right, we're on our, on the road. Mimi just texted and told Shannon that there's a wreck somewhere. So, 
which of course you, there is. you can't go through Dallas without a wreck. So, all right, on the road. Beautiful day for baseball. <laughs> we hit that just on the other before we got into Dallas and it started drizzling and we already had to dig into our emergency kit. <laughs> got blankets and hoodies out. And we had on the hoods, but we need to get some more. Yeah, that one's a little, <laughs> a little rough. That'll work though. Reed already took off. He uh he's ahead of us. Now we get to go pay $20 to watch our son play baseball to get in. <laughs> After we've already spent uh, an, an untold it. amount of the money for him to play. Six runs, five runs, base loaded again, Reed's on third. But our first baseman got an unassisted double play. Yes, that, that was, was yeah. pretty awesome. Yeah, that was really cool. <laughs> they put they put Reed in for one at bat. One, one at bat. Yeah, the one one bat, not even at bat. No. Just one, he bat one one swing of the bat. Reed was was catching. That was that was. I wish I'd got that on camera. That it was, was just pretty, outside the camera that frame. Awesome. That was that was awesome.
Yeah, it's too sick. pitiful wagon. All right, we have we won our first game ten to two. Um, 
second game, we, there's a game between our next game. So there's a game being played right now, and then we will play again. The next team we play is an 11U team uh, that's playing up in this tournament, but they're supposed to be really good. Yeah. Really, really good. We know how, some of the parents on our team know the, the other team pretty well. So, all right. Um, we're gonna go eat some lunch and let the kids rest. They look awesome. Yeah, and they're pumped right now. Yeah. It's gonna be hard yeah. to get them to rest. Yeah, but this is looking much better than it did, for sure, <laughs> last year. Game two. I'm not gonna edge now. <laughs> already reads already saying his thumb hurts. <laughs> Always something. He needs to get that thumb back. That right hand. I didn't hear it. We are. I was like, hey coach, can you tie my shoe real quick? Like in the middle of the game. <laughs> free throws. We need free throws now. Free the gun over here. <laughs> yeah. So we just go, you think Bring him in, bring him in, Ray! Good swing. Swing hard, Reed. Watch it all the way in. Good cut. Good cut. Watch it all the way to the bat. Tell them what they missed. I, I didn't have the camera on. I didn't get on the camera. What happened? He the kid tried to steal second. He threw down. Redid, and he got him out. It was a good play. Yeah.
first big place since he's been back. Yep, three, three kid out of second. It was, it was really, really good. I just feel sick to my stomach. <laughs> Good throw, Reed. Good throw, buddy. Watch it all the way in, Reed. Back home, somebody's a little needy, not the kids. It's always either the kids or her. It's never Gabby. It's always the kids or her. Um, the second game. The boys were tired. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. They got up on us. The other team got up some runs on us, and it just kind of fell apart yeah. from there. Yeah, that team definitely is not a better team than us. Um, and in fact, we just heard that this, the they lost their second game, and we're actually ranked in the tournament higher than they are because of our differentials. Yeah, run differentials because of the runs we scored. So, uh, so which just means like when we play in pool play tomorrow, we will be seated higher than they are. So, um, but nevertheless, for us, Reed, this was Reed's first tournament back since he broke mm -hmm. his shoulder um, back in the late fall season. So, um, early he, October. Yes. Yes, wow. Mm -hmm. And so he, he played exceptional, especially considering that. I would say that most people would agree that as far, especially with his catching, he, he did not look like he, you know, broke his arm. No, and, and had and to had, rehab it yeah, for four months. He looked phenomenal. Um, he had some bad breaks when he was at bat, but it wasn't his fault. Um, he's always been one of the... Um, top ranked batters on his team so um, it was just a fluke day uh, but so now we wait and see where we're seated and we don't even know what town we play in tomorrow we could play back where we were on the other side of Dallas or we could play on the other side of Fort Worth 
So we wait until the, I think the last game's at six tonight. It's about five now. And they were running on time. So yeah, fingers so, but, crossed. But we probably won't know until yeah. seven or eight, like right around, hopefully around bedtime, where they're seated and where we'll play. There's two brackets, a gold and a silver bracket. Um, you know, ideally we'd rather come in high on the silver bracket than low on the gold bracket. Because um, that means an 8 a.m. game. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it means early game. So, but, um, so if y'all want to see how they do in the, in this tournament, watch the next video because we're going to end this video now and then I'll keep video tomorrow and that'll probably be the beginning of the next video. So mm -hmm. what else? Um, I don't know. Yeah. It was a long day. Very long. It was very emotional for me. Yes. Why? I told Tobin and Reed that his ability to be behind the plate and catch a ball is, I have full confidence in him. What I don't have full confidence is his ability not to get hurt. So every time he would jump up, I was like, is this gonna hurt his shoulder? At one point his thumb was hurting and I don't know if you guys know, he broke both of his thumbs the same time he broke his shoulder. Both thumbs. Both thumbs. Yeah. They didn't cast him because they were like, uh, he would not have any arms to yeah. use. So his thumb, he was, and anyways, it's just, I told, I didn't talk for about the first 45 <laughs> minutes home because I had to come off of the, on the way home because yeah. of the emotional, Yeah. like I, I, if he, Lord willing, makes it far with baseball. Skyler. I just don't think I'll ever not worry. Yeah. He made some phenomenal plays. Yeah. He threw a kid out at second. He, he didn't get hurt. <laughs> Yeah, he, no, he did he complain about did. his thumb hurting a little bit, but I think he just tweaked it. Um, he threw a kid out at second, had two or three other throws to second that were really, really close. And then there was a ball that was hit right pretty far into center field. And the center, our center fielder, so he's yeah. a hustler. And he threw that ball all the way in, and a kid was running in from third just to take home, and Reed almost tagged him out. It was really, really close. Um, Some and, of us are dads that play baseball said that he slid under the tag um, the ump said otherwise and at yeah. this age you there's not much you can do yeah. about it we don't have replay cameras or any of yeah. that stuff you just have to trust that i mean he home plate ump had the best advantage from that kid coming in you know the infield ump would have never been able to see it so yeah. you just kind of trust I, I if he missed him he missed him by a hair yeah very very close so guys Baseball is going to be our life for the next two months, three months. Remember I mean, how we told y'all to be prepared for taxidermy season <laughs> for three or four months, and that's our life, and now here we are, yeah. be prepared for baseball. Yes, we definitely have some homestead projects in the mix uh, that we'll put in the mix, but we're going to be doing some baseball. So uh, very promising that their team this year, they dropped a few players at the end of last season and picked up a few more that are very much uh, more suited for the team. Mm -hmm. So we're excited. So like I said, we're gonna end this video. Uh, watch the next video. We'll tell you how they do in the tournament and however they do. We're really proud of them. The entire team. Um, it's gonna be a good season. So. I'm watching a mama cow had a baby. Oh. Over there. And there's a new little bitty baby. Yeah, our neighbors having baby goats and baby calves everywhere. I was just sitting here. I was in a daze. Yeah. I don't even know what you said towards <laughs> the end. All right, we'll close the video and we'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. Bye.